All right, welcome coffee fans to my little coffee roasting setup. What I have here is a West Bend Stir Crazy and a turbo oven on top. I found that when roasting with that setup, the swing on the thermostat for the turbo oven was way too wide. It went from 460 degrees clicked off down to 360 degrees, clicked back on, back up to 460, 360, 460, and it was just way too much of a swing. So we're trying out today for the first time our Auber WS1500 PID. Um, that will work as a much more accurate thermostat. I have the Turbo Crazy AC cord plugged directly into the back of it so there's no wiring. Uh, it, the PID will cycle the Turbo Crazy fan and heat on and off and at least in trial runs it seems to maintain a pretty good uh, even heat so we're gonna go for it. Uh, we're measuring here the bean temperature which is a thermocouple directly on the bottom of the stir crazy and then we have another one which will measure the hot air coming right out of the turbo oven. So theoretically this would represent environmental temperature and that will represent bean temperature. So what we're going to do is turn it on and warm it up. And now you see the temperature starting to rise on the PID. You'll also see it start to rise on for the bean temperature. The PID has uh, cycle, uh, step settings. Right now it's set to warm up for seven minutes at 500 degrees to get the whole thing warmed up. Then it will switch to 450 degrees for three minutes and I will charge the beans just prior to that. Then after three minutes it will ramp up to 490 degrees for the rest of the roast. I found that the temperature from the turbo oven is not enough to keep that bean temperature high enough where I like it and roasts were getting a little too long so today we're going to cycle the stir crazy element on and off and I have a switch right down here hooked up to the heating element that will do that so we can try to get a little bit quicker roast. While it's heating up, just to show you how to program the PID, it's fairly simple. Right now it's showing temperature. If I press the time button, it will show the time and which roast it's into. Actually, we need to recycle it so it's back at the beginning. So now it'll be on section one. It's on there for zero minutes. And if I press set, it's set for 500 minutes, 500 degrees rather, for 7 minutes. Then it goes to 450 for 3 minutes. Then it goes back up to 490 for 13 minutes. And then the zero is represented, it will just maintain the rest of that temperature. But after 13 minutes, it should be over anyway. And there we have it. So we'll come back in a few minutes when it's warmed up. All right, right now we're at 475 degrees, 6 degrees for the ET, and we're at 460 for the BT. I'm going to put that down as my charge temperature. I'm going to plug in the Turbo Crazy. And we're going to charge the beans. So after about a half a minute, we're down to about 310 degrees on 310 degrees on the beans. 368 on the environmental temperature because it's got all those cold beads in here. Ambient temperature is about 50 degrees in here. Right, 
after a minute, we're at 365 and 280. At the minute and a half mark, I'm going to turn on the stir crazy heating element. Find a little help with heat from the bottom. Helps get the beans back up to temperature. We don't want them baking, we want them roasted. Two minutes into the roast, we're back up to 285 degrees. Three hundred degrees on bean temperature now. And after three minutes we're up to three fifty. And I'm gonna kill the heat on the bottom for the time being so it doesn't rise too fast. Three and a half minutes are at 399 and 379. Starting to get a little smoke. <coughs> Four minutes, stretch 408 and 373. And the temperature is dropping a little bit, so I'm going to put the base back on again. Now it's on its way back up to 417 ET and 367. Temperatures are pretty much matching now. Six minutes, we're just getting into first crack. At seven minutes, we're at 456 ET and 410 BT. And well into first crack. Beans are looking pretty good. Eight and a half minutes, well into first crack. We're going to go for a full city, maybe a full city plus roast, maybe even a Vienna roast here. I want to see these beans dark today and maybe even a little oily. And 
the ten and a half minute mark. We have 482 ET and 390 BT. And first crack is pretty much over. A couple of more than that. The first crack is for the most part over. Starting to hear the beginnings of second crack now. Smoking up a storm, it smells great in here. I'm roasting these beans for an espresso, so I want them a little on the darker side. Twelve minutes into the roast. <coughs> I think we're going to drop around 13. Thirteen minutes is our drop. Temperature off. Four eighty-eight, three ninety-seven. And there are our lovely beans.